Hey everyone, and welcome back for another deep dive. Today we'll be exploring a company called Pharmanaut and their really innovative approach to a pretty huge problem for date palm growers. And that problem is infestations of date palm scales. These tiny insects, as you might not know, are often just a few millimeters long, but they can cause some serious damage to entire plantations. Yeah, it's really incredible. These scales are like masters of disguise. They hide themselves under a protective waxy covering and then feed on the sap of the trees. And of course, that weakens the palms. It reduces the fruit yield. And sadly, in some severe cases, it can even lead to the death of the tree. Oh, wow. So they're like little vampires. Yeah. So how does Pharmanaut help with this? Well, Pharmanaut uses satellite technology and artificial intelligence, and I think this is amazing. They can actually detect signs of stress in the date palms. And get this, they can see these signs from space long before any visible symptoms even show up on the ground. Wow, that's like having a superpower. It's like an early warning system for your crops. Exactly, and early detection is key for managing any pest. You know, those traditional methods like having people go out and scout manually, they're super time-consuming. And they often miss those early signs. By the time the problem is visible, it might be too late. So Pharmanaut really gives farmers that crucial head start. But how does the technology work? Well, the system analyzes satellite imagery, looking for subtle changes in the color and reflectance of the palms. These changes can indicate stress even before any damage is visible to the naked eye. So it's not just taking pictures. It's about understanding what the pictures are telling us. Right. And that's where the AI comes in. Pharmanaut's algorithms are trained to recognize the specific patterns associated with date palm scale infestations, and they can even distinguish between different types of stress to ensure accurate identification. So it's really targeted. What happens when the system detects a possible infestation? Well, the platform generates real-time alerts that go directly to the farmers, notifying them about the location and the severity. This allows them to step in right away and prevent the infestation from spreading. That's a huge advantage. Yeah. It's like a rapid response team for your crops. Exactly. And Pharmanaut doesn't just stop at detection. They also provide guidance on the best course of action. They advocate for an integrated pest management approach, or IPM. And this combines a variety of strategies to control the scale population. So IPM sounds like a more holistic approach approach than just using pesticides. Absolutely. IPM takes the whole ecosystem into consideration. The goal is to minimize chemical use and encourage a natural balance. And it all starts with what we call cultural control. That means focusing on healthy palms through things like proper irrigation and fertilization. Pruning is also important. So building up the palm's natural defenses. Exactly. Healthy palms are much more resistant to pests. IPM also uses biological control, which means introducing or encouraging natural predators of the date palm scale. Like ladybugs. I've heard about those being used for pest control. Yeah, ladybugs are great. They're voracious predators, and they eat scales in both their larval and adult stages. Other beneficial insects like lacewings and some types of parasitic wasps are effective too. It's amazing how nature has its own solutions. Right, and by encouraging those natural predators, we can reduce our reliance on chemical pesticides, which can be harmful to the environment and to people. So Pharmanaut's approach combines the best of technology and an understanding of those natural systems. Mm -hmm. But does it really work in the real world? The results speak for themselves. Let me tell you about a case study of a large date palm plantation in the Middle East. They were dealing with a pretty serious scale infestation. Okay, what was the situation? Well, the plantation was huge, a thousand hectares, and a large portion of the palms were affected. Their fruit production was down, and some trees were even dying. Traditional pest control methods just weren't cutting it. So they were in a tough spot. How did Formanite get involved? They began with a complete assessment using their satellite-based system. They were able to pinpoint the areas with the most severe infestations. They even identified potential hot spots where the problem was likely to spread. So they had a targeted plan of attack. Right. And based on that data, they worked with the plantation managers to develop a custom IPM strategy. This involved using a mix of cultural, biological, and chemical control methods. So a multi-pronged approach. Mm -hmm. Were they able to control the infestation? The results were pretty impressive. Within a single growing season, they reduced the overall infestation level by over 80%. And they did all that while significantly reducing their use of chemical pesticides. Wow, that's incredible. What about the health of the palms and the fruit yield? The palms started to recover, they had new growth, and they were more vigorous. The fruit yield even went up by 15% compared to the previous season. So everybody wins. Healthier palms, more fruit, and a more sustainable approach to pest management. Exactly. This case study really shows how Pharmanaut's technology is changing date palm cultivation all over the world. 
They're giving farmers the knowledge and the tools they need to combat these tiny but powerful pests. This deep dive is already so informative. Can you tell us more about Farmnot's approach to sustainable date palm cultivation? Well, they really look at the bigger picture. You know, they help growers develop these best practices for long-term scale control. It's all about continuous monitoring using the satellite system. Yeah. Almost like giving your date palms regular checkups right from space. Okay, so always staying ahead of the game. Exactly. And of course, maintaining those healthy palms is crucial. We talked about irrigation and fertilization, but encouraging biodiversity is really important too. Right. You mentioned those beneficial insects before. Sounds like a, a healthy ecosystem is a big part of the solution. It really is a diverse plantation with a lot of different plants is going to attract and support a whole range of those beneficial insects. And there are allies. Those natural predators help keep the scale populations down so we don't have to rely as much on chemicals. So it's about creating that balance. Yeah. What other long-term strategies does Pharmanot suggest? Well, quarantining new plants is a big one. It's about oh. preventing those pests from hitching a ride from outside sources, mm. almost like border control for your plantation. Makes sense. You don't want to accidentally import any trouble. Yeah, exactly. And training your staff is really critical, too. Everyone needs to be able to identify scales early on. They need to understand the monitoring techniques mm. and, of course, how to implement those control methods. It's all part of a successful long term strategy. It's like having a well-trained army protecting those date palms. That's a great way to put it. And, you know, something as simple as keeping good records can really make a difference. When you track those past infestations and the treatments and the outcomes, that gives you valuable information to make decisions in the future. Okay, so it's like having a history book for your plantation. Uh. You can learn from what's happened before. Exactly. We've talked a lot about preventing those infestations, but what about when you do need to use chemical control? Is there a way to do that responsibly as part of this long-term plan? Absolutely. Whenever you have to use chemicals, rotating those control methods and the types of chemicals is key. It's about preventing the scales from developing resistance. So they can't outsmart us. Exactly. And another thing Pharmanot does is integrate weather data into their platform so they can track patterns and predict conditions that might be favorable for scale development. This helps farmers anticipate those potential problems and be proactive. It's like having a personalized weather forecast for your palms, letting you know when to prepare for a possible attack. Exactly. This is all really impressive. Yeah. It yeah. sounds like Pharmanot is going way beyond just solving immediate problems. Yeah. They're really focused on that sustainable future for date palm cultivation. They are. They're not just fighting scales. They're working to ensure the health and productivity of these crops for the long haul. And when you look at the economic impact of effective scale management, it's really pretty amazing. Now that you mention it, I'm curious about those financial benefits for growers. Yeah. What kind of difference can this make to their bottom line? Well, healthier palms mean you get a better yield and higher quality fruit. And that, of course, translates into more revenue. And by using targeted interventions based on that, PharmaNot data farmers can cut down on their costs too. So less money spent on things like pesticides and labor. Exactly. It's a win-win situation. Healthier palms and a healthier profit margin. And then you have to consider the lifespan of the trees. Effective pest control means those palms are going to live longer. So the return on investment is even better. Right. It's not just about this year's harvest. It's about the long-term success of the whole plantation. Exactly. And we can't forget about the market. Consumers are willing to pay a premium for those high-quality dates that are pest-free. People want healthy and sustainably produced food. So the farmers who can meet that demand, they're the ones who are going to benefit. So it's not just about producing more dates. It's about producing better dates, yeah. dates that consumers are looking for. Exactly. When we manage those scales effectively, it has a positive impact on the whole date palm industry. It's about building a more sustainable and resilient future for this valuable crop. And that's good for everyone economically and environmentally. It's really inspiring to see how Pharmanot is using technology to help farmers overcome these challenges. Mm. And it seems like it's really a win-win for everyone involved. I think so. Well, we've talked a lot about the present but what about the future? What exciting developments are on the horizon for date palm scale management? Oh, the future of date palm scale management. It's pretty exciting. There are some really cool advancements coming that could totally change how we deal with this problem. Imagine hyperspectral imaging. It's even more powerful than the satellite imagery we have now. It can detect the tiniest changes in plant health so we can find those infestations even earlier. Wow, so it's like an upgrade to our eyes in the sky we'll be able to see things that are invisible right now. Exactly. And then there's drone integration, 
we can combine that broad view from the satellite data with high resolution images from drones that would give us an incredible level of detail. It's like having a whole army of scouts out there watching the enemy's every move. Exactly. And then we have the Internet of Things, those tiny sensors that we can put all over the plantation. They'll give us real-time data about the microclimate conditions. Well, and they'll know exactly what kind of environment those scales are living in. Right, and that helps us adjust things like irrigation and fertilization. We can make the environment less hospitable to those pests. And the research on biocontrol agents is getting really exciting too. They're developing even more effective and targeted natural predators. So we can take out those scales without harming the environment. It's like having a special forces team of beneficial insects. Yeah, and maybe the most exciting thing is predictive modeling. We're talking about AI systems that can analyze all kinds of data, historical data weather patterns, and predict potential infestations before they even happen. Wow, that would be amazing, like having a crystal ball for your plantation. Exactly. Possibilities are really incredible. It feels like we're just starting to understand what technology can do for agriculture. I think so. This deep dive has been fascinating. We've learned so much about date palm scale infestations. Yeah. And about Pharmanaut's innovative solutions. And it seems like the future of precision agriculture is very bright. It's been a pleasure talking with you. Before we go, I have one last question for our listeners. We've seen how effective technology like Pharmanauts can be for these date palm scales. But what other challenges could we tackle with this approach? Could we use it to detect nutrient deficiencies or water stress or even early signs of diseases? It seems like there's so much potential. It's a great question to think about. And as technology keeps getting better, we can expect even more amazing things in the future. If you're interested in learning more about Pharmanaut, I encourage you to visit their website or download their app. They have a ton of information available, and their team is always happy to answer questions. We hope this deep dive has inspired you to learn more about precision agriculture. It's a really exciting field with so much potential for creating a more sustainable and abundant future for all of us. Thanks for joining us today, and until next time, keep exploring and keep learning.